Okay, so in my last blog, a lot of people were saying in the comment, you know, you write so fast. Oh my goodness. Um, and the reason I was writing so fast in that, and I'll link it up here if you want to see it, is because I knew exactly what I was going to write because I had thought about it and worked it out. So now I'm sitting down to write. It's 6.45 in the morning and the line on my outline literally just says road trip to blank. I think I definitely need this scene. I, I've cut out three scenes that I was planning in this act um, so far. I don't think this is one that can be cut because we just ended the last scene on a big like mic drop moment. You know what I mean? So I have to follow up from it and have there be, you know, something. <laughs> I'm feeling a little stuck on it though. I'm like, okay, what do I want to focus on here? And do I want to work on relationship, group dynamics? So I'm just gonna sit, I think, and brainstorm a little bit. Okay, so yes, I was stuck and continue to be stuck. And But I had a hunch. I've been watching a lot of Michelle Schusterman lately and I decided to go through and try some of her workshop things. Um, she has a, two really, really good videos for ones that talked about like scenes. And one of them had these amazing questions to ask. Um, right now, like I had the question, what is the point of this scene? Her questions much, much better. So I'm going to link it above and I'm actually going to go through and answer all of the questions except for the last one. The last one is like about balancing the types of narration. I haven't written a word in this scene yet. I know that's actually a problem that I have. Um, I write a lot of dialogue, especially in this book. I have like a lot of very dialogue heavy scenes, but that is something I am choosing not to care about at the moment and I will fix it and think. <laughs> but you know, the most important thing in a first draft is just getting the main story on the page. Um, so I have a whole bunch of questions here that I'm going to go through one by one, but then I got, I saw this video, I'm going to put it up, which is find your scenes beats with tweets. And she was talking about how a beat is when something changes in a scene. And she said, if you're getting stuck to have your character write three to seven tweets, about what's going on in this scene and I just like it sat my mind for a second I was like what and then I was like oh my god that would be amazing can I put that in the book I'm gonna see does this help me write a better scene and I am super excited to do this yay <laughs> thank you so much Michelle Schusterman for your amazing videos and getting me unstuck scene 24 we gotta we gotta figure this stuff out um the first question is what changes in this scene what do we learn about the characters in the scene and how do they change? So I'm going to brain dump onto my document and I will let you know how it goes. Okay, so it is 8 a.m. and it is still very dark outside and I have gone through those different questions. I did pause for a minute to win on Wordle. Um, I got it in my second guess. I went from like no letters to all the letters and it was very exciting. It's a very fun game. Um, I'm very proud of myself. Thank you. Anyways, so after that little break, um, I did answer most of the questions. Um, the questions I had trouble with were what is the emotional point and what should the reader be feeling? I know that there is some, like by the end, there's maybe a little bit of fear and trepidation from the characters. I'm not quite sure what the reader should be feeling, um, but I think I'm good. I'm just going to skip over that for now. The next question was what's being negotiated? What do the characters want? That one was good. I wrote down what all five characters want in the scene, and some of them want the same things. Some of them want different things. Some of them are like not directly like in conflict. So that's good. So now I am going to do this little tweet thing and I'll put them up. I might put them up. We'll see how good they are. So I'm going to do that. And then once I do that, I think I'm actually going to um, go to work. Okay, that tweet exercise was so much fun. So I have Canva Premium and basically on Canva, like they have templates of tweets like that are framed. So I went and I like made her a username and I like created a profile picture with a picture from like Pinterest and put her name up. And then I, I actually have eight tweets that she sent out. 
um, in kind of like a tweet thread or whatever. And yeah, I don't, <laughs> it was really fun. I was trying to make them like hip and, you know, Twittery, um, which is a little bit different than just being like, oh yeah, X did Y, like kind of reporting on it, but that just made it more fun. I'm gonna <laughs> put them up here because I'm very proud of myself and um, I'm just taking a break from work to record this. So I'm gonna work and then I'll probably do a hot tub or something tonight and then I will write the scene tonight and so I will catch up with you then. Yay, fun, more bad lighting, but I have just done it. I wrote 1700 words in about an hour and a little bit, and I got that scene done. Woohoo! That was scene 24. And then get to scene 26, and the scene 26 is gonna be so much fun, and scene 27 is gonna be so much fun. This is the midpoint, all this crazy shit happens. Scene 28, I'm so excited for. Scene 29 is gonna be great. And you know, things are things are pretty good from now on, I think. I feel pretty good about it. One of the scenes is literally just an agenda. So we're getting there. So my goal was to finish act two by Saturday. So I have to write a scene today, a scene tomorrow, and then I'm done act two, 26. And I just, in that writing session, I almost, or I not almost, <laughs> I, Cross the 40,000 word mark. I'm at 40,405 words. Ah, that is so, so exciting. Oh my God, I forgot something super important. So as I was writing tonight, um, I wrote a line and I was like, huh, that could be a book title potentially. And so temporarily, because I'm so tired of calling this the Florence heist, I am going to refer to this project as some kind of criminal. Ba, ba, ba. I really like it. <laughs> I just, I really want to get this drafted. I'm feeling in the groove. I'm feeling it. I'm loving it. So here's to this book. <laughs> here's to this book and here's to finishing. And here's to Michelle Schusterman, whose methods were so helpful for figuring out that scene. So helpful. Um, that was amazing and i know this is not like the best lighting position i am in bed like yes i was writing in bed i'm not very fancy about that kind of thing i know i shouldn't i know you're not supposed to but i don't really write well at a desk i like to be cozy i like to curl up i like to enjoy myself so anyways um thank you so much for watching yay <laughs> i got words and i will see you next time Bye bye